We know about the Druids uh, because classical writers and Irish writers later gave us certain descriptions about how these people worked in society at the time. Writers that go back to the 4th century BC include people like Julius Caesar writing in the 1st century BC and uh, at the other end of the spectrum the Irish sagas that were written down in the 7th and 8th centuries. And together they tell us about these very remarkable people who were a, a kind of religious caste but they were also the intellectuals of Iron Age society. Uh, they, it, within them resided all society's knowledge. Uh, so that um, when Julius Caesar came across the Druids, he, he was very impressed and he listed uh, what the Druids did, what their main tasks were. Most important, they interceded between man and the gods. They were the intermediaries and ordinary humans couldn't talk to the gods unless uh, there was a Druid presence who would able to, was able to officiate. Uh, they were also great teachers. Um, Caesar says that they taught people, uh, uh, they, they taught students uh, through uh, oral tradition. They made the students learn everything. There were no books at that time, and it took up to 20 years to learn everything that you had to know to be a Druid. Um, they were also the arbiters in all kinds of disputes. Uh, for example, in warfare, they could actually stop war or in ordinary court cases they could preside and make judgments and their judgments were absolutely final. Um, the, the most important power they had was the power of excommunication. Uh, if anyone did serious wrong uh, they could refuse them uh, forthwith any contact with the gods and that made them unclean, um, no one would come near them or have anything to do with them and they had to simply go away into the wilderness. It was a very, very powerful tool to keep people under control. Uh, they also um, were present when sacrifices took place and the sacrifices are made quite a lot of in, in some literature. Um, they involved um, slaughtering people and watching the way they died. But really this wasn't a very important part of the, the Druids' task. Um, other people probably did that. The Druids had to be present but uh, they can't necessarily, necessarily be implicated in the actual death of the victims.